Hello friends, welcome to Dudier Academy. In this video, I am going to discuss the cranial nerves, the shortcuts to remember it and the peculiarities of each cranial nerve. If you like this video, please like and subscribe the channel and also share to your friends. So let us start. There are 12 pairs of cranial nerves. Olfactory, optic, oculomotor, trochlear, trigeminal, abducens, facial, auditory, or acoustic or vestibular cochlear, glossopharyngeal, vagus, accessory, and hypoglossal. The mnemonic to remember these cranial nerves are based on the first letters of each cranial nerve. We can say Uta Fag Va. Uta Fag Va. O olfactory, optic, oculomotor trochlear, trigeminal, abducens, then facial, auditory, glossopharyngeal, then VAH, VA, vagus, A for accessory and H for hypoglossal. Then we have to know whether these nerves are sensory nerves or motor nerves or mixed nerves. Means Mixed means both sensory and motor functions. So, for that we can use this mnemonic. Some says marry money, but my brother says big brain matters more. So, here S indicates sensory and M indicates motor and B indicates both. So, some says marry money, but my brother says big brain matters more. So, for that the olfactory is a sensory nerve. Then optic, it is also a sensory nerve. Oculomotor, it is a motor nerve. Trochlear, it is a motor nerve. Trigeminal is both, that is both sensory and motor. Then abducens is a motor nerve. Facial is both, both sensory and motor then sensory uh, uh, auditory is a sensory nerve then glossopharyngeal is both sensory and motor vagus is also a, a mixed mix nerve then accessory that include accessory nerve is a motor nerve and hypoglossal is also a motor nerve so these are the mnemonics to remember the cranial nerves the cranial nerves can be remembered by following the mnemonic uta fag va and the functions of it can be remembered by this mnemonic that is some says marry money but my brother says big brain matters more so here the s is indicating the sensory wherever the m is there that is indicating the motor and wherever the b is there that indicates both means mixed nerve okay now we have to discuss the cranial nerves each cranial nerve in detail so as i told you there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves and these cranial nerves are directly arising from the brain so the first cranial nerve is first cranial nerve is olfactory which is a sensory nerve it is the smallest cranial nerve, sensory nerve and it is the smallest cranial nerve. So olfactory nerve is the smallest cranial nerve and it helps to sense the smell. Clear? So that is the olfactory nerve. Then next is the second cranial nerve that is optic nerve. Optic nerve is also a sensory nerve it is helping or controlling the vision that is both the central and peripheral vision is controlled by this optic nerve and if there is compression of the optic nerve compression of the op optic nerve occurs if there is a mass like tumor or any pus or fluid is filled it may cause compression of the optic nerve in the brain and that may cause the vision problems okay 
vision problems and blindness occurs then papillary edema is also occurring if there is swelling of the optic nerve due to the increased intracranial pressure so for just for the understanding of the any abnormalities of the optic nerve is causing this problems compression and uh, papillary edema the next is the third cranial nerve that is the oculomotor nerve okay that is from the term itself it is clear oculomotor so it is a motor nerve and it helps in the eye movement so eyelid and eyeball movement is uh, be helped by this nerve oculomotor nerve helps in the eyelid and eyeball movement it also enables the pupillary constriction pupillary constriction and accommodation what is accommodation it is another reflex associated with this third cranial nerve is accommodation reflex that means at rest the lens is thin and it allows the eyes to focus on far object and in order to focus on the near objects lens must thicken by a process called accommodation so that is helped by this oculomotor nerve so accommodation is depending on oculomotor nerve the next is the fourth cranial nerve fourth cranial nerve that is trochlear it is a motor nerve okay trochlear is a motor nerve it is the thinnest cranial nerve thinnest cranial nerve and it helps in eye movement that is the helps to move the eye downward and inward it helps to move the eyes downward and inward that is the trochlear nerve the next is the fifth cranial nerve that is also t that indicates the trigeminal nerve it is a mixed nerve it indicates b both both means mixed both sensory and motor functions are there for the trigeminal nerve what is the peculiarity of this trigeminal nerve it is the largest cranial nerve it is the largest cranial nerve and also we can say it is the most complex cranial nerve is the trigeminal nerve it helps in the chewing movements it controls the muscles of mastication okay so it helps in the chewing biting and it the problems associated with this trigeminal nerve is trigeminal neuralgia that is a chronic pain condition affecting the trigeminal nerve in the face that cause trigeminal neuralgia so that is regarding this trigeminal nerve the next is a a is abducens abducens it is also a motor nerve it is a motor nerve it helps in the abduction of the eye it helps in abduction of the eye okay that is it allows the movement of the eyes towards the sides abducens it helps in the abduction of the eye the, uh, movement of eye eyes towards the sides so these are the six cranial nerves the next comes the seventh cranial nerve that is the facial nerve what about the facial nerve this is a seventh cranial nerve it is a mixed nerve b indicates mixed nerve it is having both motor and sensory functions and it helps in the facial expression the motor function is it helps in the facial expression and movement facial expression and movement and it has the sensory function of taste perception in the anterior 2 by 3rd of the tongue taste perception of anterior 2 by 3rd of the tongue is supplied by this facial nerve the paralysis of the seventh cranial nerve that is a facial nerve cause bell's palsy so these are the uh, commonly asked questions paralysis of the facial nerve is causing the problem bell's palsy next is the eighth cranial nerve that is the auditory nerve we will call it as auditory nerve or acoustic nerve or we will call as vestibulo cochlear nerve okay auditory auditory or acoustic or vestibular cochlear nerve that is a sensory nerve sensory nerve it helps for hearing and balance so the caloric test is done to uh, assess this functioning of this nerve caloric test for the equilibrium and hearing okay 
equilibrium balance and hearing is based on the auditory nerve and the problem associated with this auditory nerve is acoustic neuroma that is a benign tumor that is developing on the vestibular nerve called acoustic neuroma okay so that is the eighth cranial nerve it is a sensory nerve it is uh, uh, mainly helping the hearing and balance and the caloric test is a test of vestibular cochlear reflex by irrigating the cold or warm water into the external auditory canal so it is done to check the functioning of this nerve then the ninth cranial nerve that is the glossopharyngeal nerve it is a mixed nerve mixed nerve so here it is denoted as b means both both sensory and function uh, and motor functions then the loss of bitter taste sensation is due to the damage of this glossopharyngeal nerve okay the loss of bitter taste sensation is due to the damage of this glossopharyngeal nerve and the taste in the posterior 1 by 3rd 1 by 3rd of the tongue is supplied by the glossopharyngeal nerve the anterior 2 by 3rd of the tongue is supplied by the facial nerve and the posterior 1 by 3rd of the tongue uh, the taste is uh, perception is supplied by this glossopharyngeal nerve and it also helps in swallowing and uh, gag reflex are all based on the glossopharyngeal nerve the next is the vagus nerve tenth cranial nerve is the vagus nerve it is also known as pneumogastric nerve pneumogastric nerve it is a mixed nerve it is a mixed nerve that means both sensory and motor functions it is having and it is the longest cranial nerve it is the longest cranial nerve so uh, longest cranial nerve is vagus nerve largest is trigeminal nerve so don't get confused then it helps in voice production it helps in voice production it slows the slows down the heart rate and also it is stimulating Uh, or it is passing through the thorax and abdominal organ this nerve is passing through the thorax and abdominal organ so that is the features of the vagus nerve or we will call it as a pneumogastric nerve it is a mixed nerve it is the longest cranial cranial nerve it helps in the voice production and also it stimulates certain muscles in the heart and it does slows the heart rate and it is also passing through the thorax and abdominal organ the next is the ninth cranial nerve sorry 11th cranial nerve that is accessory accessory nerves it is a motor nerve accessory nerves are motor nerves and it helps in the shoulder movement that is it is supplying the sternocleidomastoid and trapezius muscles and thus it helps in the shoulder movement so it is a motor nerve then the 12th cranial nerve 12th cranial nerve is 12th cranial nerve is hypoglossal hypoglossal nerve helps in the tongue movement it has motor function and it is innervating the muscles of the tongue and thus it is having uh, or it is helping the tongue movement so these are the 12 pairs of cranial nerves and the mnemonics to remember this cranial nerves and uh, the functions of and peculiarities of each cranial nerve okay thank you so if you like this channel please subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon to get the notifications Thank you.